all the participants of TEDx Langley Conference. I am Jennifer Lee, and I am the third grade. I am representing RC Garden Elementary at this honorable event. I am truly honored to be speaking here today. Before I start, I'd like to ask you a little question. Do you like animals? If you do, you may like the speech. Wait for it, wait for it, ta-da! It is about my pet gecko, Max. Max is a crusty gecko. The first day I got my gecko, I named him Max. Before I got Max, I felt nervous. I never had a pet before. Would it bite? Would it be scary? I wondered. My mom recommended a pet fish, but I didn't want a fish. I begged and begged my mom to get a lizard. At the time, I did a lot of research. Now take care of pet lizards. One of the interesting things I found is that pet lizards can live up to 5 to 15 years, and most of them are gentle and harmless pets to humans. I thought I could enjoy quite a long time with my pet lizard, but my mom said it would take a lot of responsibility. I promised that I would take a really good care of it. When I saw all kinds of lizards at the pet store, I said to myself, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. I finally spotted one last gecko and said, now I definitely want this one. The day we brought him home was the best day ever. <laughs> we had already set out Max's terrarium before we brought him. And the next day, I went upstairs and whispered to him, you are so cute. That night, I fell asleep dreaming about Max. Ever since I got Max, I've really been working hard to take care of him. I help my mom when she cleans his home and feeds him. I also miss his home every day, a little in the morning and a lot at night. I love my gecko as much as an author would love his own books. I love my gecko so much that I am writing my book about my own gecko. I have a gecko named Max. At Christmas, he's Holly. In summer, he's Jolly. I have a gecko who likes the rain and the sound the rain drops in when they land on your umbrella. I have a gecko that's my best friend. Also, if you're afraid of some kind of animal, try going near it, and you will find a big difference in you. And by the way, remember to say, I love animals every day.